வணக்கம் ஸோ ஃபார் வி டிஸ்கஸ் த பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் இன் பேசிக் வியூஸ் பர்ச்சேஸ் வியூ ஃபோர் எம்ஆர்பி வியூஸ் அண்ட் ஒர்க் ஷெடியூலிங் வியூஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்சோ வி கிரியேட்டட் தி மெட்டல் மாஸ்டர் வித் தீஸ் வியூஸ் ஃபார் அவர் பிஸ்னஸ் கேஸ் அட் த நெக்ஸ்ட் ஸ்டெப் வி மஸ் கிரியேட் த ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் வியூ இன் திஸ் செஷன் வி வில் டிஸ்கஸ் வேரியஸ் பேராமீட்டர்ஸ் இன் தி ஃபோர்காஸ்டிங் வியூ பிஃபோர் கோயிங் டு த செஷன் லெட் அஸ் சி த ஆன்சர்ஸ் ஃபார் த ப்ரீவியஸ் செஷன்ஸ் கிஸ் in what scenario production uom will be maintained so whenever the basic unit of measurement for example it may be in pieces is different from the unit of measurement of production the pieces you know during production it may be in cartons then the production unit of measurement will be used means the cartons will be filled as the production unit of measure this is a normal thing right in many manufacturing industry these kind of things are happening tolerances are maintained in the work scheduling view are the same that maintained in the purchasing view no the tolerances maintained in the purchasing view are used for the goods received from product purchase orders tolerances in the work scheduling view are used for goods received from production orders what is the difference between the inos production time maintained in mrp2 view and the work scheduling view inos production time in mrp2 view is lot size independent the same in the work scheduling view is lot size dependent so updating the inos production in work schedule view will be give more accurate planning what is the material status maintained in the work scheduling view this is the plant specific material status plant specific material status is maintained in any of the views like sales view purchase view mrp view and also in this work scheduling view it applies the same for all the views is it mandatory to create work scheduling view for inos production items yes it is mandatory for inos production items similarly for purchasing view for a purchasing items purchasing view is mandatory we uh, continue the course uh, with the discussion on the forecasting view so far we created basic data 1 and basic data 2 views which are organization independent views and then we discussed the purchasing view which is a plant specific and then we created mrp views they are the plant specific and store location specific and then work scheduling that is the plant specific now we are going to discuss the forecasting view in this session here we see the forecasting view details of the material depending on the material type whether this view is required or not would have been configured in the material type this one we discussed during the material type discussion in forecasting view we have the details like a general data where we select the forecast model or what is the loss forecast what are the reference metal those kind of things then we have a section on number of periods required next we have the control data parameters whatever we need to carry out the forecast we will discuss these fields one by one the forecast model calculates the requirement to forecast for the material the forecast model and analysis of forecasting in general or um covered you know as a models which are like constant model or it may be seasonal model anything so this is what kind of model we are going to use that is what is maintained this forecast model period indicator field specifies what is the time period for which the consumption values for the uh, forecasting the normal period will be like a month which is taken as the field if you are taking it as a blank system will take as a month here or it may be daily or weekly that like that we can take then fiscal year variant is an accounting defined field that describes the variant for the fiscal year that is a number of posting periods which means the fiscal year variant has to be configured using the transaction ob37 and which is done by the finance team if one material does not have any historical data to create the forecast and then we can define a material that is similar to that material as a reference material in here right as a reference metal for consumption details here then system will consider that metal for the past details to calculate the forecast for the metal what we are looking for also we can enter here which is the reference plant we have to consider that also we can enter and how much period we have to take this period the material as a reference for example we are taking a metal a now reference metal as b so after 6 months right after 6 months maybe we would have got the uh, that same metal metal a itself may be having lot of uh, history there 
so then we can use the st of uh, metal a itself instead of having metal b so that time we can stop it so we can put that uh, six months date as the date here so that is how these details are used we discussed about the forecast model in the general section let me explain a few models and how to select a model to use in the forecasting forecast modeling is designed to aid in forecasting particular events the forecast model is designed around the factors that are believed to be important to influence the future of the material and also the past consumption of the metal are used to determine the future use so here the various models are here first let us discuss the constant model a constant model assumes that the use of material is constant being constant does not mean that the use of metal is the same each week or each month but the variation of the metal usage fluctuates a little and a constant that means in the long term it is almost constant trend model a trend model is used when there is a increase or decrease of material consumption or the usage the trend may include the areas of movement away from the trend but the overall uh, movement will follow some downward or upward trend seasonal model seasonal model affects many businesses due to weather holidays or vacations a seasonal model is defined as a pattern that repeats for each period for example the annual se seasonal pattern as a cycle that is 12 periods long in the period are months a seasonal model may apply to a company that makes like ice cream which experiences greater demand in the summer period this pattern is repeated each year seasonal trend model the seasonal trend model is similar to seasonal model except that instead of the same pattern occurring each period the pattern is moving further away from the mean value that is either it is increasing or decreasing for example when the population is increasing or the residential area number of houses are increasing the demand for the ice cream may increase summer on summer that is a seasonal increasing trend now how to choose a model see we see the many models which are showing here in the figure we see many models i just told about four models there are other things also there but how to select a model so if you don't know the how to select a model then we can seek the help of sap to analyze the past details and give us some model in this so for that there is a forecast model j the last one if you see the forecast model j automatic model selection that will uh, work as a, like you no know, selecting the model and give the details but we have to revisit the system proposed and selected forecast model on a regular basis to ensure that the forecast is closely matching with the consumption details here the number of periods required this tab is there where we are having the selections which is having what are the uh, historical details forecast period etc start with the historical periods the number of historical periods we need to have to calculate the forecast if we keep this uh, blank as so this field as a blank system will not take any periods for the past then the forecast periods what is the number we enter in this forecast period that is the number of periods over which the forecast has to be calculated so for example if you enter here for 10 months system will calculate the forecast for 10 months here and what is the period for season this is used in seasonal forecast model to define number of periods per season then initialization uh, period for the uh, sorry number of periods for initialization this is used for the historical values that we want to be used for the forecast initialization if initialization initialization period field is blank no historical values are used to initialize the forecast and then we have the fixed period the fixed period field is used to avoid fluctuation in the forecast calculation because the production can no longer react to the changed planning figures which means frequently we are having any period so we can freeze a specific period this is maybe called as a frozen period for which the forecast is fixed without any variation this is very important in many areas we cannot just keep on changing the forecast frequently so maybe next one two weeks we should not change any forecast like that we can check, fix it control data section this is used for uh, having some fixing some parameters like how to initiate 
the forecast what is the tracking limit what is the model selection those kind of things what is that uh, initialization initialization indicator if the forecast has to be initiated by system or it has to be initiated manually that is what is decided by this initiate initialization field and then we are having tracking limit tracking limit field holds a value that specify the amount by which the forecast value may deviate from the actual value this figure can be entered to three decimal places then reset forecast automatically indicator is selected if you select this field then system will reset if the tracking limit is exceeded if my system will calculate the tracking limit if the value is more than that then system will reset it and then how the model has to be selected model selection this field is only active if the user did not enter a value in the forecast model field you know the first section of no, general data where we did not enter forecast model means then system will automatically generate i mean create the forecast model based on the details what we have and uh, model selection field can be set to one of the values like examine the trend examine seasonal fluctuation or examine the trend and seasonal fluctuation like that we can fix the details accordingly system will select and then what is the uh, the uh, co correction factors so here the system will decide what are the things which has to be included as part of the correction factor in the forecast and then we have the selection procedure selection procedure is when the system is allowed to select the forecast model the procedure is entered here how it has to be selected this kind of selection procedure now this is where that the selection procedure is given that the procedure performs significant test to find the best seasonal trend pattern or it has to select the forecast for all models and then select the model with a smaller mean absolute deviation see all these points are related to like kind of some statistical things if you are if you have to be if you have to use this forecast view properly and you have to use this forecasting in the right way then you should learn statistics if you learn statistics only you can use this field in the right way and use this forecasting at the same time these forecasting views can be used to, to calculate reorder point and a safety stop automatically right so that can be we can make it as a simple way that i will cover as a separate session later how to calculate reorder point automatically that uh, we'll uh, discuss it later but if you want to really do the forecast you need to have a good knowledge in the statistical approach of forecast then only you can use this field and also suggest to the i mean if you are a client if you are a consultant if you have to suggest a user or if you are the super user to suggest your end users you need to have good forecasting knowledge please be ensure it in the right bottom of the forecasting view there is a tab icon for consumption values as shown here by pressing this we see the consumption of the material based on the period indicator selected for this material we selected w that is the weekly as the period indicator so we see the weekly consumption details but we see only zero consumption here because the material cp1016 the training we are not yet consumed in our practice so it is showing zero so let us select the material component cp1003 which is being used for the practice purpose here we can see the weekly consumption details are uh, uh, appearing here so details of the two columns of consumption and how to use them we will be discussing them during the later session we will be working on the forecasting and also automatic reorder point calculation at the time we will discuss these columns for the details you may remember the consumption details that were discussed during the basic data views as part of the additional data tab now let us go to the same place additional data basic consumption values we see the same values so the consumption value updated in the additional data tab is the same we reach through the forecasting view also so they are not different what we are approaching from forecasting view what we reach from the additional data their consumption both are same so now let us see the creation of forecasting view for the material so now let us take uh, one material through mm01 any metal view extension is through mm01 so let us select s002 cp1001 so now we have to create this forecasting view so we will go and select the forecasting view set the default it's already default is set and enter we will press enter and uh, the organization details are already selected there enter go inside so because already there up to mrp4 are there now we are in the forecasting view as usual 
to have some reference let us see the respective trng material so slash o mm03 we'll go and see the trng material okay so here the trng cp1001 so let us go and see the forecasting view of that material sorry uh, forecasting view yes so here when you go to the forecasting view see here in the general data number of periods and also the control data some parameters are already filled there right say the forecast period is, is a model is shown as d d is a constant model okay let us put the f4 and see that it is a d constant model first let us go to the simple method only right constant model other details you know the period indicator w is coming from mrp3 we don't need to fill the other periods the max the minimum period those things are coming as the default because they were set as per the uh, parameters already uh, defined in the master data so they are appearing there so we just uh, save this and uh, come out so like this forecasting is selected but as i told you earlier during the virtual dealing view whatever the view we are creating for each view the each field use that f1 help go through the each field definitions and understand them later every field or maximum fields will try to use them with different scenarios now just for explanation i'm going through them to meet the basic processes in this session we discussed various parameters involved in the forecasting view like a forecasting model selection the periods which are involved in forecast model selection what are the control parameters we need as i told we should be knowing a forecast, the statistical calculations under statistical methods to use this forecasting view in the right way now let us see some quiz questions for this session forecast for a material cannot be calculated if there is no false data for the material true or false can we select number of periods to be considered in the past to arrive at the forecast and forecasting model can be selected manually only true or false so i am asking some basic uh, queries only because basic quizzes only because this is just to, for you to refresh the uh, the knowledge we gained here so assignment for this session is create the uh, forecasting view until forecasting for the materials in the uh, business case please refer to the trng materials when you are creating the materials because when we follow the processes it will be helpful for you to uh, to find out any problem if it is there after understanding the various parameters in the forecasting view we will discuss the parameters in the plant store location views in the next session create all the views until forecasting view for the materials as per the business case whether if there is any clarification you need please put them into the comment section of this our uh, sessions i will be clarifying them then and there if you would like to practice the session along with me with the dedicated server uh, write to me in this email info@bigrovin.com meanwhile suggest your friends and colleagues to subscribe to the channel so they also get the benefit of this knowledge sharing session thank you see you in the next session take care bye